Hello and welcome back to Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two hero click sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our team. I'm your host, Calder Ness. This week, I am building out of Avengers Black Panther and the Illuminati, and Simeon is building out of X-Men the Animated Series, the Dark Phoenix Saga. Wow, we just chose the longest set names to go against each other. I mean, WizKids is the one who released them back to back, but That's true. Uh, Simeon, why don't you tell us who is on your team? Yeah, before I before we go into anything... Look how look how pretty tabletop simulator got, man. Oh yeah, we, we, we should almost just make update. a video of us touring <laughs> touring the new tabletop yeah. simulator, uh, the showing guy everybody been, like how it works and how pretty it is. Yeah, the guy that's been doing all the work on it, or the team of people. Um, I really need to find out who they are and congratulate them because this is a I good overhaul. In a yeah, while. and yeah, all the box art is there now, so that's cool. Uh, anyhow, pretty for team. XDPS, the animated series. We first have Harvey, I mean Mojo, uh, 75 points. Oh! He's got the behind the scenes trait. Mojo can't be targeted by opposing characters five or more squares away. Uh, he's got more action. Ratings are dropping. Whenever a character misses all targets of their attack, give Mojo a board token. Free, remove two board tokens to either place Mojo anywhere on the map or make an attack. Uh, this was used heavily. Uh, I shouldn't say heavily. This was used most interestingly when ID cards were a thing because he could place anywhere on the map and that was as a free action and then drop an ID card with his perplex. Still a really cool piece, though. Um, I actually do like Mojo as a villain. Uh, next up are the generic Sentinels. So these guys can be played at 33 points or 25 points. If you pay 33, you get to pick any starting line. At 25, you have to roll. I rolled a 4 and a 5 for my two Sentinels. And so that came in on click 10 and click 13, which is Perplex and Ranged Combat Expert, both with invulnerability and 18 defenses, 8 speed, 10 attacks, uh, 6 range, 1 lightning bolt, flight. And of course, uh, yeah, Colossal. Uh, they have the Prime Directive, which almost I think all the Sentinels had in this set, uh, so, which is at the beginning of your turn, Sentinel may move one square. If an opposing character with the X-Men or Brotherhood of Mutants keyword is on the map, it may move an additional one square. Sadly, neither of those keywords exist in ABPI, uh, to my knowledge. Yes. Um, but this is a cool trait because... It doesn't give you nothing if you're not going against X-Men or Brotherhood. So you still get to move one square at the beginning of the turn. So that's cool. Um, and then I'm not going to read the other two powers because I didn't roll for those guys. Unless maybe I'm on the capture coils speed power. Sentinel... The Sentinel with the Perplex power actually does have the Capture Coils, which is plasticity, but affects all opposing characters within three squares in line of fire, which isn't nothing. Just feels like it. Um, so those are my Sentinels. Next looks up like it, too. Is 001. Yeah, it definitely looks like nothing. Uh, Wolverine, uh, main, main man of the set, I suppose. So he's got Charge Blades with a 12 attack. He has the Nose Nose Bub. So he doesn't have any kind of healing trait, but he does have opposing characters within three squares, can't use stealth or shape change, which is a very utility piece. Very cool. Mm -hmm. um, he does have regen on two of his clicks. Very strange dial, but of course, just mostly blades, charge, flurry, that kind of stuff. Next up is Amelia Vought. I do not know who this is, but, uh, you know... You can actually see that she has a special speed and defense power on her clicks, so that's cool. Uh, the Mutant Messiah trait was a shared trait across, I think, all the Acolytes, or maybe Brotherhood, but I think it was Acolytes. Uh, this is, at the beginning of the game, for all characters with this trait, choose a friendly character with the Acolytes or Brotherhood of Mutants or X-Men keyword. That character can use Mastermind, but only to choose targets with this trait. She has Perplex for her first three clicks, and then she goes into support and regen, which kind of strange combo, but she starts with uh, phasing teleport passenger four, but only to carry characters that share a keyword with her, and then she has the special defense transmute out of danger, super senses once per turn, when Amelia Vought Voter I, spelled it wrong, <laughs> I just saw that too uh, <laughs> when Amelia Vought or an adjacent friendly character <laughs> would take three or more damage 
you may give that character two action tokens to take one unavoidable damage instead. If you do, after resolutions, you may place that character in a square adjacent to her current square. Um, pretty decent little power. Not terrible for 45 points. Uh, next up is Spiral. Triple target, four range, 80 points, Brotherhood of Mutants team ability. Spiral has the My Mutants Brotherhood Brothers and Sisters trait, which is once per turn when an effect other than clearing removes an action token from Spiral after resolutions, heal her one click. Uh, a lot of the Brotherhood, I think, had this. Um, yeah. Then there is the Interdimensional Talent Scout special speed power on her top and bottom dial. And that is phasing teleport plasticity. When Spiral uses phasing teleport and moves five squares or less, after resolutions, she can use both incapacitate and telekinesis at no cost in any order, which using that with her uh, triple target is pretty fun. Then uh, mid-dial, I've got change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it into crystal clarity, perplex and probability control. Double rollouts on top and bottom, and then that special perplex prob in the middle. Pretty solid little piece. A little high costed at 80 points for my liking, because there's no reducers and no outwit protection, but um, I always enjoyed pulling her in sealed. It was just so, unconstructed. She always got blasted for a lot. What's the other mojo verse guy? Is that Longshot or yeah, something? Like, what's his name? Longshot. He, Longshot he actually was, was like, like the, the main focus these like episodes and it's weird that he didn't get a figure in the set that is she did and she was strange. definitely like camera woman <laughs> type like, role is all she really had yeah i think super weird like yeah it's super weird you didn't version, get... but it's been a while since i've seen the cartoon oh sure so then never mind hard to hard to tell but yeah. uh next up pyro so he's a guy uh he has running shot with a special he's a male attack power uh he's got RCE, which is actually, I think, one of the only characters where the new PAC like really affects him differently. Uh, so he also has the My Mutant Brothers and Sisters trait, which only really triggers with his uh, team ability. Um, he has a special attack power that is too hot to handle. Energy Explosion, Poison. When Pyro uses Energy Explosion, you may choose that he has three targets, or after resolutions, he can use Barrier at no cost. Uh, he then has a special damage power for his last, from two through five, his last uh, four clicks. And that is, anyone bring the marshmallows free, destroy an object within range. Whenever Pyro uses a range destroy ob or destroy action to destroy a piece of blocking terrain, after resolutions, remove an action token from him. That's the other way he heals. Um, then he, he gets pulse wave and barrier on his last two clicks with sidestep. Uh, only two damage, so he's one of the few pulse wave pieces that doesn't really get too hurt by the the nerf that it received. And then I think this is my last, yeah, my last Brotherhood of Mutant here, uh, Sabertooth. So similar to Wolverine, he's got a twelve attack blades top dial. He ignores elevated and hindering. Uh, he has my mutants brothers and sisters trait, so he can heal from that, and then he has Feral resist Resilience trait, which is when Sabretooth takes damage from an opponent's attack, after resolutions, roll a d6. On a 4 through 5, heal him 1 click. On a 6, heal him 2 clicks, or remove an action token from him. And the fun thing about removing the action token from him is that triggers his other trait, so he heals anyway. Uh, then he's got a special speed power, which is Charge, Flurry, and Stealth. And then... That's pretty good. Last but not least, nine characters on this team and only 500 points. Uh, Krakoa, the living island, um, at 70 points. He has a special trait, the flora needs to feed, steal energy. Opposing characters that occupy or adjacent to its hindering terrain markers must break away as if breaking away from Krakoa, and it may target them with a close attack regardless of adjacency. He has a special speed power for two clicks that is flurry, phasing teleport, and plasticity. Um, you can see he's got invincible on that first uh, click of his 70 point dial and then toughness the rest of the dial. And then he's got the entire dial for his bottom line is colossal retaliation, the living land. Free if no friendly character has been placed this turn. Choose an opposing character that attacked Koa or damaged a friendly character since your last turn. 
place Krakoa such that it can make a close attack targeting the chosen character, then do so using Quake at no cost, if you did. After resolutions, generate hindering terrain markers in all the squares that Krakoa occupied at the beginning and end of this action. So you generate those, they don't go away, and then he can use them uh, to target people regardless of adjacency, and uh, people that are next to him have to break away as if they're next to him, which is real bad when he's on his plasticity click. That is <clears throat> almost the entire set of XDPS, I feel. Uh, honorable <laughs> mentions, we did get a vote for Nimrod, oh, but he's 175 points, and if you haven't seen what Nimrod does yet, then just consider yourself lucky. It kind of would it would have been pretty unfair for Calder to go against True. Nimrod. And then uh, the other one was for Juggernaut, who also has the My Mutant Brothers and Sisters trait, and then he heals by running through blocking. And again, Juggernaut was just a lot of points. So I got these yeah. two big guys that are both 75, and then I was able to play a bunch of the smaller guys. So we had to cut those two. Sorry, your votes do matter to me. I just uh, couldn't quite fit everything. All right. So now on to my normal standard base people. We'll start off uh, with Captain America. There's so few of them. Over here. Look how few of them. Um, are. Yes, there are indeed. There are indeed so so few, sadly. Um, but yeah, so this Captain America, I'm paying for the time gem. So he's going to have the time gem equipped. He has a trait, Sentinel Liberty, free, choose, combat reflexes, or energy seal deflection. Cap needs the chosen power until your next turn. First through the door, last to leave, charge, running shot, and sidestep is his special speed power on his top two clicks. Then he has a special damage power for his first four clicks. Leadership, when Captain America uses it with the ABPI, time gem equipped, and succeeds after a resolutions he may remove an action token from a friendly character so he's got double removing tokens and then uh, anywhere on the map which is really really cool so what's the time gem do glad you asked the time gem indestructible equipped is going to start on captain america modify his range value plus one probability control when this character attacks if the attack roll is 10 or higher opposing characters can't use effects to re-roll attacks this turn which is really cool. So you can't prob my attacks on my turn for this turn, which is really sweet. Um, next up, we have the Falcon. This is the Prime Falcon, so it's Sam Wilson, uh, which is probably the best like Falcon Sam Wilson they have made uh, to date, which is really sweet. So Falcon here, group movement, Norse characters, flight, and Dom, pretty cool. Uh, Red Wing, uh, at the beginning of the game, generated Red Wing bystander. Red Wing has autonomous. Then trait Captain America and the Falcon. ESD, if a friendly character named Captain America is on the map, Falcon has autonomous. So that's pretty huge. So his actions aren't going to count against my action total. And neither will uh, his bird Red Wing. So that's really cool. And he has close combat expert as close, which is the same as his close combat expert for the rest of his <laughs> dial. Yeah, it works that's, the same. Now. That sure is neat. It's yep. Super good. And then uh, Red Wing here. Once per game, when Red Wing would be KO'd, instead it isn't. Protected Pulse Wave, that's cool. Yeah, got And then at the that. beginning of your turn, roll D6. On a 4 through 6, remove an action token from a friendly character named Falcon or Red Wing. That's, that's huge. Or sorry, Falcon or Captain America, excuse me. Uh, but that, that's awesome. So Red Wing here can just randomly remove a token from Falcon or Captain America by being a little bird. So that's like another huge like thing that Red Wing does. Uh, next up, we have Namor. This is a... Uh, Ooh, actually, is this a theme? No. Okay. Yeah, because Falcon was never part of the Invaders, but it's almost an Invaders theme team. Uh, Namor here, playing him at his 110 points with oh. the time, or sorry, time gem, the power gem equipped. Uh, so he has his first trait is rule as the world burns. When an opposing character rolls for leadership and the result is one to two, remove an action token from Namor. So that's pretty cool. Not only do opposing characters fail a leadership but then it succeeds for namor for whatever reason which is sweet he has a special speed power which is charge flurry but only or sorry it's charge flurry comma but only when he has the time gem equipped so he's not gonna have flurry he will have charge though which is pretty sweet and then his damage power on his last four clicks of life is battle fury namor attacks with the power gem equipped and the target's only characters with printed range values of five or more modify his damage value plus one and damage delta's penetrating. 
that's going to be a lot of damage. And let me tell you why. Uh, if we look over at the Power Gem, this is going to give him modify his damage value plus one. Close combat expert, ranged combat expert. When this character hits, if the attack roll is 10 or higher, after resolutions, deal hit deal a hit target one penetrating damage. So the Power Gem is just... It's just gnarly, guys. It's just real yeah. good. So because both Next of up, those we are have... static now, he's just always at a plus two damage no matter what, and then yes. always at a plus so one be, attack uh, for close attacks. Two damage plus one attack no matter yeah. what. And then so now you dial, look at his dial. He's he also, got a five damage yeah. 12 attack. Yeah, top dial is he's a five. On click two, three, he's a six. And then... Uh, on his last mm. four clicks, he can potentially add another a third damage to all of that. Right, so he could be dealing seven damage, ladies and gentlemen. That's a seven damage, a 13 attack flurry on his last click, which is insane. That's all penetrating damage, too. It's pretty It's pretty nuts. Oh, wow. Thank you, Simeon. That's really Those cool. I didn't so see that tiny. they could do that. The little, little plus thing is so tiny on there. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, next up is the Winter Soldier. He sees through hindering terrain. He has the Hydra and Shield team ability, which is nifty. He has close combat expert, super senses, but only succeeds on a six. So that's a pretty sweet thing to have is traded. He an Amazon. And then also his whole dial, <laughs> the the secret Amazon Bucky. I mean, look at that hair. Steve Could he not be an Trevor, Amazon? Trevor, the uh, Winter Soldier. Steve Trevor, the Winter Soldier. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and then he has range combat. Oh, or then he has range, make up the two range attacks, which is really, really cool. So you used to have to choose whether or not you wanted to use range combat expert with that or uh, use energy explosion with that. But now it's like, nah, you can yeah. just do it. So also a character fun? whose full fun? dial is a plus one attack and damage regardless of range or close. At yeah, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> so, like, he's just getting way, way better. Uh, the hits just keep on coming. Next up is the Chase Gauntlet Captain America. We did not have the points. I'm playing five points under. I decided I know I'm going to pay for both the gems as opposed to pay for the gauntlet uh, because he doesn't really need the gauntlet anymore. Um, Power Cosmic is not that important, especially for this Captain America, I feel. So we're not going to worry about it. He does not have the Infinity Gauntlet this game. Uh, then he has a trait. The gems, they want to be together. Barrier. Barrier is free, but only to generate one marker. Captain America can't be healed and takes a maximum of one damage from an attack. Protected pulse wave. That's pretty cool. And then he has pushing planets away. Knockback. When Captain America knocks a character back, add 10 to the amount of knockback. So that's always going to be a 13 square knockback with knockback being uh, up to three squares here. So that's cool. Um, it's not as good anymore because, you know, uh, no damage. If it does do no damage, yeah. it's all right. It can still, uh, it can still, you know, send people a flying back. He has charge close combat expert, which is a lot better now. So that's pretty cool. But yes, yeah, so that is my team. The one map roll, which is very lucky for me. We are on the blue area of the moon map. So, so yeah, let's just go ahead. Uh, there's no reason to roll leaderships or anything. We're gonna have Falcon. Go ahead and carry out Captain America. Simeon's action tokens. Ooh. Namor, Carrie Bucky. Captain America. Well, if Captain America choose ESD, let's actually have him. He's like like so. There. This Captain America. Having Red Wing. Namor needs a token. Token. I believe we have any perplexes or anything, so we can just go ahead and say a simian. It's a year go. Man, that twelve for five Namor is. Let's just say it's a good thing that he doesn't get flurry with the power gem because uh, that'd be bad. 
Uh, beginning of my turn, I will do the uh, the Sentinel. What is it? What is it? Uh, Prime Directive. Yes. Prime um, Directive. Interesting how Cap has a trait called Sentinel, yet no Sentinel keyword. <laughs> what a what a loser of a Sentinel. Uh, wow. How curious. <laughs> I will do the same with this one. I think that's blocking. So, oh, oh, did I just click his dial? It is blocking, yeah. Okay, he's on the right one. Um, it's at the beginning of the turn, so I, I have to do it, but I don't think there's... There's no actual square he can move into because of Mojo. Mojo has the whole sidestep. I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sidestep when an opposing character uses sidestep after resolutions, Mojo may use move up to two squares, which is also a a very mobile tool that he has. Uh, let's because these sentinels are kind of just big old body blocker guys. If I move this one here, I think it's three squares. Yeah, my capture coils are three squares and line of fire, so I'm going to have to move closer. Huh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can see all four of those guys. So he's going to do that. He's going to go here. Oh, one more. Uh, right? So he was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, he will perplex up his own defense in hopes that he doesn't just die. Uh, mm. Give him a big... A giant purple action token. Um, Amelia Vought can carry three characters. Uh, four characters, but they have to keep share keywords. Um, she doesn't have the X-Men keyword, mm. so she's just going to carry the Brotherhood. And she's got a whopping 12 speed, so she can also get all the way up there. Uh, and at the beginning of the game, I was supposed to pick someone with one of those things that she could use mastermind with so uh we'll just say spiral can use mastermind to amelia vaught um she also has perplex so she will move let's go here and we'll drop saber tooth in front we'll drop spiral next to her and we'll drop flamey guy back here uh, she will perplex up the sentinels defense again further cementing my victory um, Wolverine's got a five speed charge so he's not getting anywhere anytime soon and I don't think he ignores you're gonna turn off all my shape change and stealth that I have is I that was, what he's gonna yes, do yes I was gonna try um nine squares I think he's just got to let's see yeah he's just gonna move good thing you don't have an energy explosion that would be bad for me um <laughs> would be really bad yeah sure uh, sure would be bad let's see they're out of here shoo move that is <laughs> three actions I've got two left I think I'll move Mojo one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go. I don't know if that's quite enough. We'll go right there. Uh, he has seven range. He will two, four, six, seven. He will also perplex up the Sentinel's defense, making it as hard as possible as I can on Calder to kill that Sentinel if he wants to. And then my last move will be... I really be don't like that Sentinel, <laughs> moving, too. Uh. <laughs> moving this guy to... four, six, 
I'm going to move him here. And that is my last action for this turn. A uh, ton of perplex wow. on this team. And yet not enough. I didn't really didn't really get anything accomplished this mm. first turn. Hopefully this sentinel will be able wow. to uh he does have plasticity right now. Oh, he's yes. got plasticity. And he will affect everybody's in three squares. Yeah. Uh, we can still make ranged clicks. combat attacks though, right? Right. It's not like you're adjacent. You're just yeah. uh unable yeah. to move unless you break away. Heavily inconvenient uh, for myself. That's okay, though. Uh, so let's start off with the normal Captain America rolling leadership. Ah, they'll fail. And then we'll have the bird Red Wing roll his bird leadership. Ooh, that's a six. Take that off of uh, Auntlet Captain America here. I believe that was the only leadership. Namor doesn't have it. Yeah, he doesn't have it. Okay, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have this Gauntlet Captain America sidestep to, to here. And he's going to go ahead and shoot the Sentinel. It's going to be a 12 to a 20. A need 20, an 8. A 21. Pretty 21. Yeah. Triple perplex it up. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Maybe. Um, there's our eight. That'll I guess we need a nine. I'll have a twenty. So we'll we'll prob that, I guess, with time gem cap. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna prob that. I just realized we had a better option here because Bucky has the Hydra team ability. We should have had our normal Captain America shoot the Sentinel first. Uh, let's see. Only has three damage, so he won't kill it. Who has enhancement? Ah, Bucky also has the shield <laughs> team ability. What a what a waste! What a waste of Bucky yeah. for a turn. Uh, we'll power action to modify Captain America's damage by plus one, and we'll go ahead. We'll have him shoot the Sentinel. Sentinel will only be a twenty now. We need an eight. Ah, oh, man, shoot, we really did that. We'll prob it. We really did that in the wrong order. Ugh. Ugh. Don't even hit either. Yeah, of course it won't. Fudge! That was such a bad... This is what I get for not paying attention. He said three actions this turn. Ooh, ladies and gents. Namor. That range, Namor? No, you don't. You no, certainly don't, zero. Namor. Cool. Let's, uh, let's have Red Wing hypersonic. Where are you going? Uh, who we want to punch? Burn. You know, we'll punch. We'll go here. We'll punch Sabretooth. Punch Sabretooth. We'll see how well that works out for us. Precision strike. That oh, there's our nine, of hit. course. Wow. Uh, so wow. Sabretooth has... You gotta be kidding. Oh, we needed a nine, too. A super That's ridiculous. Sense. On a six. That's ridiculous. That'll miss. So I'll take it's a damage. It's a big... Uh, what is it? Two damage? And One damage. Oh, wow, Red Wing. That's so cool of you. Sabretooth's trade will kick in. So uh, on a four through six, I'll be able to potentially heal. Whoa. That was a bad roll. I'll keep it, though. That's fine. Um, okay. Red Wing doesn't actually count towards your action total, and neither does Falcon, yeah. but Falcon hasn't done anything yet. So you're Done still only at yet. this turn. Uh, oh, you're still only at uh, three actions. Three actions this turn towards your action. Total. Crazy, a crazy three actions. Ugh. Uh, well, that's cool. So Falcon has improved movement characters. So oh. I'll just ignore you wow. and your effect here. Uh, let's have Falcon. Move, he'll carry Namor, because we do want Namor to be free here. Uh, charge, there'll be six squares. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is where we can get to, like here. So sure. 
We'll, uh, let's see. Six. Yeah, sure. We'll charge. We'll take Namor with us. And here. Let's have Falcon. He'll be a 12. Sorry, he'll be an 11 for 4 against this other Sentinel. See if we can get a little lucky here. See what we, see what can happen. Oh, there's an there's an uh -huh. eight. That will hit for one damage. Nineteen for four damage because of uh, close the, combat expert. Oh, also empower so five with Namor next to him. That'll. Oh yes, yeah, yes, Namor does have empower. Sentinel. Oh, you know what I forgot to be doing this whole time. Uh, we had Cap and other Cap both miss attacks. So Mojo is double board yes, right now. Board. He has two board tokens. Yeah, and uh, it's the turn. That's the whole turn, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we got. That's what we got. All right. Sentinel's real annoying. It really sucks. Let's. See. Can I say? Uh, so prime directive. I'll move to here. One, two, three. That means Winter Soldier, Cap. The only one that's not in my three squares is Gauntlet Captain America. Um, yes, that is true. Uh, let's see. The only one that damaged me was Falcon and Red Wing. Red Wing, yes. I kind of want to get rid of Red Wing, so let's see how we can do that. Let's perplex down Red Wing's defense with my big Sentinel boy. Um, I'm going to retaliate with Krakoa. Uh, against my bird? I'm going to retaliate against my bird? bird. Um, yes. Let's see. A little one like damage burn. Uh, so, uh, da, 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 da. place Krakoa such that he can make a close attack targeting the chosen character, then do so using Quake at no cost. If you did, after resolutions, generate hindering terrain in all squares Krakoa occupied at the beginning and end of this action. So, I don't know where my uh, hindering terrain is, so I'm just using Smoke Cloud. So he will move to here. And then uh, your Captain America will also be in my quake, but he reduces by two, so it's not going to matter. Probably mm. should have placed these before I moved him because I don't remember where he was. It was close to here. I do not think it'll matter too much. Oh. Amazing. Um. Yeah. So... Attacking both guys, but it'll really just be Red Wing in the attack because Cap can't take any damage. Unless you crit hit, of course. That's true. That will hit. Let's go ahead. We'll have Red Wing roll his super senses. Bird senses say two. Red Wing will die and then not die because that would have been the first time he would be KO'd. Ooh. He's still there. That was a free action. Uh, sadly, I can't poison hmm. Red Wing because he is on a different elevation, so not adjacent to me. Um, and you were placed this turn. That's true. I was also, yeah, I also moved and was placed this turn. Yeah. Um, I think. <laughs> Man. There's really not a lot of options. I kind of boxed myself in, and you blocked me with a tiny little bird. So, uh, I'm let's, curious. <laughs> How yeah. interesting. Let's have Spiral do her special thing. Spiral mm -hmm. will uh, phasing teleport, move five squares or less, and then can use incapacitate and telekinesis at no cost. So we will phasing to one, two, three. 
we'll just go right here and then try and incapacitate mm. uh, let's see we'll go with this one try and incapacitate the two guys next to her with her triple okay. lightning bolts close attack uh, this is an 11 attack into numbers uh, a crit let's hit. try rolling that again and not just <laughs> set it down to be fair the game lagged and just like let go uh, that was also a bad roll. Uh, we will prob that. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, re-roll that because that was a bad roll first, and we'll see what happens. There, that's a good roll. Uh, let's see, that hit 18s. 18. Hit them both. We will prob it with Captain America. There we go. Um, I'll hit a 17. I'll hit Bucky. So Bucky will roll his super senses on a 6. Oh, it's a two. Bucky will get a second action token. How does that work since he only succeeds on a six? And I have precision strike. Oh, did you already have precision strike? Oh, yeah. then, never, then never mind. Yeah. Then what he did... wouldn't have been able to roll. I didn't remember that you had precision strike. I don't remember how it works exactly. Uh, I can now TK yeah. at no cost. So I'm going to TK myself two squares back, I guess. Ooh. Interesting. Not sure if that actually Call. helps me at all. Um, the hey, only thing I bird. really have left ah. is Sabretooth can attack the bird. It's a 15, 11 into a 15. I only need a 4. Attack my bird. Yeah, that's what we'll, we'll attempt to do this. We'll hit the bird. Bird gets its bird senses, however. Uh, nope. And even on normal senses, will the bird uh, survive? Take my bird and I'll... All right. Um, oh, sad. It's one, two Flat. costed actions this turn. Uh, let's have Mojo perplex up the Sentinel's defense again. Let's have... Uh, I'm not a fan. One, two, Very three, much not a fan. Four. Five. Let's have Wolverine charge going. Uh, we'll have Amelia Vought perplex up his attack first, just in case. Mm. What is he? He's stuck on. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five squares to here. And we'll go all bladesy blades on Captain America. Okay. This is the fight people wanted to see Wolverine versus Captain True. You need that big old crit hit with a six roll. Ah, oh, that will hit though. That'll hit. Uh, and I do have to blades because I've only got two printed damage. Ah. Ah. It will deal two damage. <laughs> Great. I will reduce it by two. Um. As a invulnerability. Wow. That's one two. Three three actions I can still I guess pyro can actually go the opposite direction I don't have to send everyone that way so I can go four squares to here and then target these two uh, what does his thing do energy explosion I can have three targets with energy explosion um, that doesn't really help me so we will just Running shot for damage, because he does have RCE, mm. so he'll be an 11 for 4. He will go after... Let's go after Falcon. Uh, yeah, it's a 7 attack. I need a 7 to hit Falcon. For I mean, he has traded damage. DSD. Oh, let's go after Namor, because I only it's better, yeah, it's a better idea. Namor. Yeah. Hey, you got it. Hey, you got a tenor higher as well. Would have hit Falcon, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, just two damage or there. Two damage. And I get to remove an action token because of Brotherhood. Yeah. What luck. Yeah. Uh, Amelia Vought will clear. I think Mojo will also just clear. Yeah. And my sentinel will clear 
and that is that is my whole turn all all bajillion Damn. actions of it pretty pretty big leadership role here for captain america Ooh, and he does get it on the six so he'll take one token off of Bucky and then one token off of a character anywhere else, which hmm, free up you can free up Falcon for the turn. So I think that's what we'll do. Um Yeah, I guess that'll be that'll be fine. Let's go ahead. I think we're gonna start it off. With our with our big attack, let's uh let's have old old Gauntlet Captain America try to get rid of that Sentinel yet again, who only has what a nineteen defense now. Only a nineteen correct? this turn, yeah. We only need a, only need a seven to hit this turn. A lot more realistic here. Um, and that is a four, so we'll prob that with Time Gem Captain America. Really want to hit this. Really want to hit this. Oh, there it is. There's our nine, which we needed last turn. Two whole damage. Four damage. Oh, don't want to shoot him that way. It'll hit stuff. Oh, gosh. Oh, it did there it. you go. There you go, wrecking things again, Simeon. Way to go. Thanks a lot. Okay. I try. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. We'll have Time Gem Cap punch the Wolverine. Well, huh, good luck. You uh, can't hit the Wolverine. That'll, that'll miss. It really <laughs> is the battle of champions here, uh, Captain America and Wolverine. Yeah, can't uh, hit, let's have can't Bucky try to... Too. Bucky try to energy explode on Spiral. Okay. I have she, a the shape change roll. Shape change roll. That was pretty sad. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's yeah. still succeeds. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Bucky gets a token. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. Uh, I mean, he can still target Krakoa, I guess. We'll, That's we'll true. target Krakoa. Uh, does he see through stealth? Yeah. Oh. He does. He has improved targeting hindering. Yeah. Boo. He does. Yeah. We'll shoot Krakoa instead. And that'll hit a 17, so I'll probably miss, right? Uh, that hits an 18 because he has RCE, so he's a 12. Oh, it does have RCE, that is correct. So yeah, that'll right. hit for two. Two. And now Krakoa uh, has. Starts with Invincible. Krakoa starts with Invincible, so he didn't take any damage. He had Invincible top dial, so he didn't take any damage. From oh, no way, yeah, 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 for four. Winter yeah. Soldier has... Yeah, never mind. Yeah, never yeah. mind. You are right. Okay. Jiva, and then... Oh, yeah, I can make two range attacks. That's right. When I do range, I can always make two range attacks. Let's try... Uh, yeah, let's shoot Krakoa again, shall we? All right. Ooh, that will hit. For another four damage down to three. One, two... Is that right? Let me look at the card. Good job, Bucky. One, two, Dinner four. See a toughness then. Yeah, he should take one more. I don't think it lets me click him all the way. That's why he is also out of there. Ooh, I like that. Big fan. Big fan. I don't know if his terrain stays when he goes. Uh, da, da, da. It just says generate hindering terrain markers. Yeah, I think they just stay. I'm gonna have Namor charge to here. And after Mojo uh, EB he's man. To, he's up to three he eleven more tokens. Uh it's an eleven for six damage with Namor right now, which is pretty gnarly. Uh, ooh, ah. and that's a ten. So I'll take means after four. resolutions, he'll take Take four, and then he'll take one penetrating damage because of the power gem, because that was oh. a ten or higher. <laughs> this is quickly turning wow. out of my favor. 
This is, uh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, Falcon will now charge to here. And his second token. Uh, he will be an 11 for 5 against uh, Pyro. Hmm. It's the Namor's power. Which, does he still have that? Yes, he does. All right. Oops. About rolled the token in hand. This will be my last uh, last thing I can do this turn. Because then I'm out of characters. I can do things. Uh, and that will hit a 17. Mm. For five damage. Five. Ooh, ah. Five. <laughs> good, good, good. And it is it is Simeon's turn now. Uh, you are welcome. Yes. What a what a good turn I have left. Uh, from nine characters <laughs> down to four. That's so um, bad. Uh. <laughs> I only lost four characters that last turn, so I'm not feeling too bad. Yeah, that's true. I killed the sentinel. Uh, Let's see. Um, Wolverine won't be able to remove any action tokens. Let's perplex up Sabretooth's attack value to a 12 and have him charge 1, 2, 3 to here. Ooh. Trying to blades Captain oh, America. Shoot. If I get some decent blades rolls. I realize I forgot to choose. Yeah. Yeah. You're still on ESD, bucko. Yeah, I forgot to uh, to switch over to combat reflexes. Um, that, that will miss. Will matter. All right. Uh, let's see. Spiral can do her phasing. Flurry thing though, right? Uh, no. The flurry though. Red right? wing knocked me off of it. Oh. Oh, he's on a second. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. 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 Um. Oh. What is what is Amelia <clears throat> Vought got going on? Amelia the astral skin. No, no, no. Character would take three or more damage. Give that character two action tokens. Okay. Well, they have to be adjacent for that. Well, uh, let's. There's really, I mean, Cap has leadership, but there's really no one to incapacitate other than Namor. So let's yeah, Namor just clear would be the only guy. Spiral and clear. Uh, I'll I'll phase Amelia to here first. Then I'll clear Spiral and I'll clear Wolverine. Okay. I'll roll for Captain America's leadership. See if we can get it. Ooh, yes we do. Five. Come on off, Bucky. Uh, we'll take one off. Gauntlet Cap. If Captain America choose combat reflexes, side step gauntlet cap to here. And we're gonna have a gauntlet clap cap last Wolverine 12 18. Ah, we'll hit for four damage. Would you the like to knock four. me back? Oh, you can't. I'd like to knock I've you back. Oh, yes, that's I've correct. Perfectly. Uh, that was one, two. Perfectly. Oh, perfectly. Three. Okay. Perfectly. Uh, then we're going to have Bucky try to do his free two range or range, two range combat attacks. Hmm. Ah, that was a pretty bad set down. Margaret and Sabretooth. 12 for 4. Ooh, that'll, that'll hit 20s. Hit. I have super sensitive with Sabretooth. Ah, a 5. Ah, rats. Let's try that second ranged combat attack, shall we? Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. Ah, that will also hit a 20. That's definitely hit. Super senses again. Oh, that was. Yeah. But yeah, let's try something a little, a little spicier. Uh, Ooh. A one for four. Ooh. Oh, good. Click two, one, two, 
three, four. That's his last click. All right. Let's have Namor charge to here and try to hurt. Oh, hang his, on. Uh, hang on. It's Vought. I get to what? roll with Sabretooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll leave, I'll leave Namor, but yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, nothing. Good. Hey. <laughs> Now uh, we have an 11. that trait is completely Dude, useless. Is. Oh yeah, sadly yeah it is, because you are on the last click there. Oh, I'll hit a 19. Six oh, damage, nice. Namor against Amelia. Super sensitive yes. with Amelia. Mm. A one. Oh. That's, right, that's mine. Dice. It's you know, always awkward in real life when you go to grab your dice and you just grab your entire your opponent's, opponent's card. Instead. card. Oh, we'll oh, sorry. Clear um, Captain America and the Falcon, and it's your go. Amelia Vought or an adjacent friendly character would take three or more damage. You may give that character two action tokens. So I'm going to give her two action tokens. And Oh, wait. I have to give him a spiral? How does this work? When she, Amelia Vought or an adjacent friendly character would take three or more damage, so she would take three or more in this attack, you may give that character two action tokens. So since I can't give her two action tokens, I, I'm pretty sure she just dies. Because I don't think I can do that for Spiral. I can't give a Spiral the two action tokens to keep Amelia alive. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, six did it. Actually, five did it. Um, let's have Wolverine flurry blades. Uh, let's have Sabretooth try and sidestep first. Yeah. No. All right, we'll have Wolverine try and flurry blades going against time gem cap he needs Ooh. a big number several times that'll be 17 second attack Ooh. sadly also a 17 Ooh. uh Ooh. surprisingly namor isn't <laughs> at his worst on this current click because he's only, only an 11 attack. So... That is true. Although damage output is a bit ridiculous, the only reason yeah. you should hit him would be to hit him for exactly, like, two damage. So he'd be, like, the same attack, but one less damage. Yeah. It'd be, like, the only reason to damage Namor. I think I'm going to... phase this lady to... Man, really does not matter. Where is she? Right here. Yeah. Because uh, Amelia Vaught was next to her. Uh, one, two, three. No. Can't get somewhere where I can see more than two people. Uh, we'll just phase her to... Bleh, here. Oh, there you go. That's a pretty good idea, though. Cutting off Bucky's line of fire. And then we will... Uh, Free in cap, and then TK. Uh, first close in cap targeting both of them. Not that it matters, so it's just cap. No penetrating damage, so that will miss. That will miss. 18. And then I don't have any line of fire for TK anyhow, so that is all I can do. I will clear Sabretooth. Okay. And let's go ahead leadership i i might survive that's right that is right uh, i almost forgot uh, leadership with time gem captain america oh that is a six don't don't say uh we'll take a token off bucky a token off gauntlet cap uh all right curiouser and curiouser uh, you will <laughs> you'll certainly try uh america's coming 
Steam no more mutants. Uh, several other things I can say. Yeah, I'm very happy how my Patriot squad is doing this game. This is uh, it's certainly a turnaround, ladies and gentlemen. Modifiers. Post rule change, it really stat is. Modifiers are um, just nuts. Namor with his that would have even said at the time a BPI was a better set than XDPS. Yeah, yeah Namor XDPS is definitely like the really clear... didn't have a ton of solid single base figures, but uh, also the two by twos didn't do too great. I could have done something with Mojo, but you're like right now, like, Simeon no is thinking, you know, maybe maybe I should have played <laughs> this face, uh, Nimrod <laughs> or Juggernaut. Let's yet. have let's have. Yeah, let's round. have a uh, Bucky. Yeah, the bonus round is you get to call them in, and then we play the rest of the game with what I have left. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's have Bucky try to punch Spiral. See, see if she can get that shape change. Ah. Shape change with Spiral. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Falcon? She missed her shape change. That was kind of rude. That was rude of you. Uh, all right. Bucky's going to be a 12 for 4. Uh, that will hit. That's an eight with knockback. Wow, which super can't happen. senses. But yeah, ah. so that'll hit for four damage. Uh, now, Captain America, making use of his incredible two bolts, will now target both Sabretooth and Wolverine. The close combat attack. 12 on stuff. Oh, oh it's a one. three. We're going to prob that Ooh. with, with uh, Captain America. That might have actually hit one. It was close to a crit miss, though. Uh, it's a nine. That'll hit them both. Uh, Leave. yes. What is saber Do you have senses right now? No, that's... Uh, like a combat reflex. Combat reflexes. Super senses on Wolverine, though. Wolverine's got senses. So we'll have to do it all to Sabretooth with we'll that survive. six on senses. Yeah. Steal my cards! <laughs> whiz! Gee whiz. My hands don't know Golly the difference gosh. between uh, cards and dice. In real life. Uh, I'll roll to right. see if I can heal Sabretooth. Oh yeah, it's a good call. Uh, no, oh, for it's the still third time, he does not. Poor what, a great, what a great roll that That's, was. Uh, Let's have Gauntlet Cap go ahead and punch, or uh, sorry, shoot the Wolverine. Ooh, hits. Eighteens. And oh, he does not have precision strike, so it's just a five or six. That's all I need. Or a one. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, now. Uh, let's see. What is uh, what is Miss Spiral rocking? Uh, looks like some ESD or the no combat reflexes. Oh, Sixteen combat, combat reflexes, reflexes oh, with perplex okay. and prob. So you need to be able to hit an eighteen. Mm, I don't think you can. Oh, Falcon! Falcon can't even get over there. We'll just we'll just move to here. I guess he can't charge. He won't be able to get all the way over there. Uh, so we'll move Falcon to there. We'll clear Namor. And we'll say it is your go. I'm going to power action spiral to ID card call in Nimrod. <laughs> Actually, I don't. Oh, yes, there of course. He, there he is. The Nimrod ID card. <laughs> the classic Nimrod ID card. Uh, <laughs> Simeon. Place already realizing square. that there's no adjacent squares. There you go. <laughs> I was like, yeah, uh, <laughs> pretty pretty viable uh, idea. It was pretty crazy that they made Sentinel ID cards yeah, like just, this uh, for was the the level seven in the animated ID. series. Um, hey, I now mean, wait a second. You've got him at his top point value. This, so. He has to at least he has to at least be on his lower point value because Spiral's only uh, eighty points. Fair. Uh, That's based true. on ID she card could, rules, she yeah, would only be able to bring in a hundred and seventy-five point Nimrod. That's true. Yes, she can only bring in a character that is a, uh, you know, what what extra uh, ninety-five points more than she is is all she's allowed to bring in uh, to keep it balanced for game design reasons. Yes. 
for, for game design. Uh, uh, there you go. Now that's that's wrong. a nice legal turn that I like to see. <laughs> it's no longer the beginning of my turn, so I can't choose a standard power. Um, it is true, but he uh, he will just attempt to rules. punch Bucky with his twelve for four. Okay. I feel like that's absolutely that's only fair. Yeah. Uh, let's perplex uh, up Bucky his attack. Yeah. To a thirteen with spiral. Bucky is a spiral. Spiral has perplexed now. Okay. That yeah, uh, we'll, no. we'll prob that with time gem cap. I suppose <laughs> we ought to. Ooh, that'll still hit. Bucky gets super senses on a six. Gets this. That'll be hilarious. Uh, no, it's a three. It'll take four, so three damage of toughness. Yeah. Just when they thought Puts I was down and out. Four. 175 point figure. That's right. To save the day. I'm only breaking the build by almost a third. Over I don't know third, what you're talking about. <laughs> no idea what you're talking This is a perfectly legal play uh, for the set at the time and for the votes you got. Perfect. This is a perfectly legal play, guys. Yeah, yeah. This is a perfectly legal play. Uh, anyways, so it's my turn. Uh, I'll roll leadership with Captain America here. Um, uh, uh, almost. We didn't succeed there. It's a big shame. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, roll willpower on Bucky. <laughs> He's got that now. Oh, I forgot to roll willpower on all my giants this whole game. So For, oh, yeah, you did. Ah, oh, dude. You're... I don't think any of them ever got double right? actioned, but yeah, it's still something I got to get used uh, to. Let's go ahead. Have Falcon will free. Choose combat reflexes Captain America. Let's have Falcon try to punch Spiral. It's going to be a 12 or 18. Is that right? Or 11, sure. She, he's only an 11. 11 to 18. 18. He needs a 7 to hit. I'll miss. So we'll prob it with gauntlet cap. Or sorry, not gauntlet cap. With time gem cap. And that will hit. Because that's a 6. Yeah, that'll hit. I will prob it with spiral. 4 damage. Ooh, good call. And that'll, that will uh, still hit. For three? Uh, for four damage. Okay, three does. Plus combat expert. Uh, since she is off the board, her ID call-in right. suddenly becomes uh, a permanent character. Because that is also... Oh, yes. That is a, that's also, also that a rule works, of right? ID cards. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I just, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Blackbird spiral ID card call in. How can I forget how she worked? I can't imagine. I, I can't really hope no one. Uh, well, let's have takes Captain America. They'll be like, let's, yeah, this is how it I works. hope they don't either. Yeah, let's have Captain America try to punch Nimrod, shall we? He needs shape change a roll. Shape change. Ooh, uh, okay, Captain America's not punching nothing. And then let's have uh, Namor go ahead and charge. Two here. He will also try to punch Nimrod. Nimrod roll. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Okay. We will then clear uh, just Gauntlet Cap and Bucky. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I will pick Pulse Wave with Nimrod. And I will do such. 17s. Uh. Mm, that will hit Bucky and Namor. Uh, not Falcon. Yeah, That's pretty bad hitting Namor to that click. Because now Namor can do is. six penetrating damage to uh, Nimrod. Although I do have Invincible, so. Um, oh yeah, Giant Will Power. I forgot to do it. So. I don't know. It's not being your turn anymore. Yeah. yeah. No. Once again, you even mentioned it last turn. And you still forgot. Uh, let's have Captain America roll leadership. Uh, that's a one. It'll fail. Let's have Bucky does not need a roll for willpower. Let's have Gauntlet Cap try to range combat expert Nimrod. Shape change. Uh, okay. It's a 12 on an 18. We want a high roll. That will be an 18. Let's, let's prob that with time gem cap. We need uh, a way higher roll than that. E 11. 11. Much better. Yeah, Much better. Pretty Much solid. better. Uh, so 
Yes. The reason why Calder wanted a higher roll is because Nimrod has... Yeah, we didn't go to Nimrod's powers. When he is attacked and would be hit, so the important part is and would be hit, you may roll 2d6. If my roll is equal or higher than the attacker's attack roll, Nimrod evades that attack, and after resolutions, I deal the attacker damage equal to their printed damage value. So you'd only take three. It doesn't account for the stat modifiers. But that I need true. to roll an 11 or a 12. Otherwise, I will take two. And that was some lag. Yeah. Oh, God. Where'd they go? Threw them into space, Simeon. What'd you do? What'd you do that for? <laughs> what the my frick mouse, is going on, buddy? Is just going a little haywire. Uh, a six. Okay, okay. you'll take Perfectly four <laughs> or two. See, good thing we probed that, ladies and gents. Uh, all right. Let's see. Nimrod's card. There he is. Uh, I took two damage. Okay, let's have Namor flurry, shall we? A uh, first attack, uh, it's a six. That will hit uh, for six penetrating damage. Can't re-roll it. I can't prob it. So yeah, just roll your. See oh. if you roll six or higher. So if I roll a six or higher, I will deal any more three damage. I'll take three damage. Yeah, this is where the stat modifiers are actually super handy. Yeah, so Namor will take a damage. Uh, he still has flurry. Um, is that after resolutions that happens, or is it with every attack? Does he have flurry? It looks like he just has charge right now. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's the power gen thing. I forgot. Yeah, charge is the or he gets later in the dial. Yeah, so let's uh, let's name more. Okay. Blip. Uh, let's have Bucky, close combat expert now. Um, a ten for three. Yeah. It'll be a 10 for 3. It's not great. Not great. But actually, you want lower attack values when attacking Nimrod. Uh, it's true. That will miss. Yeah. So I don't get to roll for that one. And then we will clear Captain America and the Falcon. Here you go. All right. Nimrod actually, I'm going to take... sidestep down like Cap. Okay. Uh, he did take yeah. two or more damage from an opponent's attack. So he got a structural oh, damage yeah, token. True. And then for free, I can remove a structural damage token and heal one click. So I will do that. I will then... Two steps forward, one step back. I will then roll for my uh, colossal willpower. Three through six. I will remove a token. And then also at the beginning... Oh, wait. That was a free to heal him. So I have to do the other two first. Uh, I will also pick, let's pick poison, and I will poison Bucky for ah. the damage. It's so hurtful. The lowest defense of anyone. Anyway, but okay. killed on your team Bucky. is <laughs> the bird. The right bird. <laughs> you tabled that my whole 500 points, and all I got was a bird. Uh, Nimrod will yeah, then... Yeah, pretty wild, especially how you locked everybody down right away and then could not capitalize on that. It was at really all. was yeah. real sad. It's real yeah, at all. Sad. And I missed... Yeah. Uh, Nimrod yeah. will... I should have picked Psychic Blast and shot Namor. Um, Would have been a good idea. Instead, I will just attempt to shoot the Falcon with a 12 for 3, or 12 okay. for 4 with RCE. Ooh, that's going to miss. What? That was a seven. Oh, he's got ESD. That's he's got ESD. Yeah, the Falcon's right. got ESD. Come on, Simeon. We covered this. We talked about yeah, this. That's fine. That's fine. And you're like, hold on. Um, Everybody but two figures in your force. You still want to click one. Yeah. How could you? <laughs> that's all I got. Uh, let's have Captain America roll leadership. Oh, wow. Amazing. Let's have Bucky roll willpower. Wow. Wow. Bucky. Good job. Uh, we're going to have... Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead. None of these fools have precision strikes, so we better just start. Let's have Bucky try to punch. And for three. Ooh, that's that an 11. A, that will that hit. very high attack. I will have to roll uh, an 11 or a 12 to deal Bucky two damage. 
that is not. Mm. No. no. Then he gets an impervious. impervious roll, though. So I nice. will just take one damage. I don't get a structural damage token because it has to be two or more. Let's go ahead have Captain America punch. 12 and 18. Hopefully we get something real high. Ooh, that is a six. We'll prob that with Captain America. That does hit, but we want it to hit with a high number. And that is a three, so I'll just miss, which is probably better than hitting with a six, but... Yeah. Uh, let's have Falcon charge to here. Hmm. Eleven for four. Engine. A, seven. a seven or higher, hopefully a lot higher. Uh, that is a six, so that'll miss. We had to try. And then we'll have Gauntlet Cap take a shot again. A 12 for 4 with his ranged combat expert. Blam. Kerblasto. Ah, that'll oh, miss. Cool. Some terrible, terrible Side rolls. Sidestep back. Gauntlet Cap to here. Give him a token. And it is your go, Simeon. All right. In the correct order this turn, I will roll for uh, Colossal Willpower. A 3 through 6. Okay. Yep. That is a three. I will then pick poison. Uh, I can't roll for my sub or my and, uh, structural damage. Tokens. Murder uh, the Winter Soldier. It I will, seems. yeah. Without rolling an attack, I will poison Bucky and Falcon. Since oh, I yeah, that's right. Occupying Falcon, two elevations, that. I can poison on a that's, whole new level. Oh, that's uh, really that's really bad for Falcon. It's not good. <laughs> and then I will. Uh, I do have two lightning bolts. We should you should probably put that to use. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's dual target Falcon and Namor. So the highest okay. defense and the lowest. Uh, with a 12 for four. Ooh, let's have a lot Time Jim Cap prob that. Ooh, much better. We'll hit much better. Uh, that's an action token. And that is all I can do this turn. Let's have Captain America go ahead and roll leadership. Oh, fails. Let's have Captain America try to sidestep breakaway. Oh, that also fails. Very cool. So let's lead it off. Oh, Namor should have cleared last turn. Yeah. He didn't do anything. Yeah. Um, is Namor the ten attack penetrating? Yeah, let's go for yeah. Namor first. Namor with the big six damage Can penetrating ten attack. Six damage penetrating hit. with this attack. We seven if we roll a high number. That's a four. What we'll the prob that with time gem cap? I really want this to hit. And shot him. Uh, that'll hit a seventeen. I believe it'll miss. Uh. You're an 11. That was a 7, right? Am I 11? Because the uh, power... I am an 11, yeah. I have plus one attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will hit an 18, yeah. So I need, need a need 7 or higher. 7 or I die. A 6. Ooh! 1, or two, six, three, four, Penetrating damage. Five, 6. Exactly enough. So the combined forces oh. of... Just pretty much the whole XDPS set. Managed to kill the Winter Soldier and a bird. And that was through <laughs> a lot of cheating uh, of the rules. Yes. <laughs> but I, uh, I honestly was expecting you to be like, ah, but Nimrod has a trait that when he dies, the true the uh, central master, spawns. aka the Juggernaut, comes out. Yeah, the I thought you explodes be like, out of his wacky. body. Um, of Nimrod's body, yeah, and then. But I'm like, this video is probably. Yeah. Probably long enough, but I mean, Juggernaut was already on the map. Fun. No, uh, yeah. but without enough blocking on the map, Juggernaut also does not do a whole lot. So. It is it is pretty sparse? Yeah, and then he honestly has less staying around power than Nimrod does. Right. He also it like, was his whole move. Enough, like, he can do Quake, and now that Quake is not yeah. a, you can't single target Quake. He's only doing a max. Yeah, two that's really with that bad. Big move. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, but all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was another, uh, sadly, one-sided battle of Thursday Throwdown. Reminder, you can vote for the figures on our team on Facebook, Twitter, and the comment section of this video. You can also do so on our Discord if you support us on Patreon. And hey, guess what? That means if you support us on Patreon, you're getting action tokens, you're getting custom stickers, you're getting all sorts of really cool custom stuff, as well as a super fun time on our Discord, entered into monthly raffles, and all that fun stuff. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Thursday Throwdown and all our YouTube videos, check out our Patreon. Patreon and subscribe to the channel like this video do all that fun stuff to help us grow and Simeon the sets we get to build out of next week you get to build out of our Genesis so there's a chance for some X-Men um, what would you call it theme team whatever trying uh, to alternate car uh, triumph again some, oh, yeah, some yeah. sort of revenge redemption. triumph thing redemption there you Almost go a, a uh, some X-Men redemption X-Men please shut up uh and then i will build out of sadly i have to build out of star trek resistance is futile uh i don't know what is in that set so vote for whatever i guess so thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always happy trails